one, power up. And our teams are off 1646 crossing the line. We unfortunately have one of our teams, 5531, missing for the switch for the Red Alliance. But 1720 is lining up and is going to attempt a scale auto. Unfortunately, their auto is a little bit off. A little bit of a lackluster auto here in qualification match number eight. No cubes on the switches, no cubes on the scale, but I know these teams will make up for lost points by working hard during this teleoperated period. We already have Galactech successfully placing a cube on the switch for the Blue Alliance while on the red end of the field. We also have, they have control of their switch. 1720 want to be the first one to place a cube on the scale and they are also joined by Galactech. Fix Gears and Galactech over on the Blue Alliance want to ensure that the Blue Alliance is getting those scale points. Quadrangle is placing some pretty intense defense trying to get one, two cubes on the Blue Alliance's switch turning it over to control for the Red Alliance. They've got three against Blue Alliance's one, racking up those points. It might seem like a small thing, but if they have control for an extended amount of time during this match, it can be monumental for the Red Alliance. We have a minute and a half left in this match. Precision Guessworks is working hard for the Blue Alliance getting cubes in the exchange, while 5531 Orange Crush is doing the same for the Red Alliance. Orange Crush already has a levitate power-up completed. They are working hard out of force next to try to gain some crucial points for the Red Alliance. Right now, we have 40 seconds left in the match. Red Alliance has control of their switch, their opponent's switch, but Blue Alliance is holding on hope with control of the scale. Both of these alliances are also working hard at trying to gain some extra points through placing cubes in the exchange. We have 20 seconds left in the match. Not a lot of time for these teams to start to initiate their end game strategies. 1720 is fully extended. Looks like they are going to attempt a climb. They have 10 seconds left. We have not seen a lot of climbs here at this competition. It could be a close one, but those points could be crucial for the Blue Alliance. We also have two robots on the platform, four red, one for blue, and this has the potential to be a pretty tight match in terms of points. We'll see how the scores shake out in a moment. And we have a result for qualification match number eight. Congratulations to the Red Alliance putting up a score of 206 points to 162. We have all three Red Alliance robots moving up in the rankings, all three Blue Alliance robots moving down. This just goes to show how crucial those ranking points are in this game. It is important for all of those teams to consider that and incorporate it into their strategy. But great job to all six of these teams and these two great alliances.